Over 50 years ago, my dad began his career on the Bassmasters Tour, and that's where this story begins. 19 tournament wins, nine angler the years, but the one that eluded him, the Bassmasters Classic. In 2020, I fished a Bassmaster Open Trail with one simple goal, qualify for the elites. It was a hard fought battle. Many ups, many downs. It came down to the last tournament. It came down to the last cast. Now that I've made the Bassmaster Elite Series, the goals are simple. To win a Bassmaster Elite event and get one of the blue trophies. Fight and claw to win an Angler of the Year title. And the ultimate goal to win the Bassmasters Classic Trophy, a title that eluded my father for over 50 years. I want to bring that home and finish the legacy. This is Unfinished Family Business. How about that for an intro? That's like a little jumping around, it's a little exercise. I need to exercise, dude. The days are starting to run together and I still feel like I'm in the twilight zone because we had four days of practice for this one. I don't know why. I don't know why. The toughest fishery on the planet and we get four days, which makes sense in a way, sort of, but then it all starts to run together. But never mind. I'm getting a little off track. Welcome to this episode, guys. So listen, here's, here's, here's what it is. Here's what it is. This is day one, day one. Day one of the Bassmaster. Say good morning, Jacob. What's up? Bassmaster Elite on the Sabine. So we're gonna take that rig right there, the Trocar, War Machine, Battleship, whatever you want to call it. By the way, look at our new whip, guys. Look at that shadow. Look like a gigantic monster. Look at that thing. Look at the whip, huh? All right. So here's the deal. Seriously. Day one, Bassmaster Sabine event. It's not gonna take a lot. If you watch the practice video, which was amazing by the way, because you got to see some pretty crazy adjustments. You got to see how I approached this, I call it complex level 10 fishery. Cause you have so many factors, right? You have tide, you have wind tide, you have lure choice, colors. If you're too far south, you're into brackish water, even salt. If you're way north you're all fresh there's no tide there's tide. like it's all these factors and variables correct and at the end of the day the weight is the weight if you go farther north the fish get bigger but you get a lot less bites you fish farther south you get a lot more bites but they're like literally 10 12 inches long so a lot of six pound limits seven pound limits are going to be weighed in to win this thing what is it going to take probably 12 okay because here's why somebody's going to find something special so that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna take you along this journey, the journey, the process of me trying to figure out how to catch 12 pounds a day and win this thing. Bassmaster Elite Sabine River Tournament. It starts, yeah, it starts right now. Thank you, man. Hey, love you, dude. I love you too, go get some butt. That's the plan. Good morning, sir, how are you doing? Good, Doing well. Buddy, that's my marshal today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet What's you. What's your first name? Andrew. Andrew, pleasure. All right, guys, this is time to get this party started. You know, the crowd here at Orange, everybody talks about how uh, people in this part of the country, Texas, Louisiana, they love their bass fishing, that's for sure. And uh, I'm excited about, I'm excited about going away in some fish here. You know, hopefully the goal, look, here's the goal. It's real simple, guys. Again, it's going to be all about weight. Um, there's a lot of fish, you know, you catch a lot of fish, a lot of them are small. We need, we need 12 pounds a day to win this thing. That's what we need. So we need to have a big day. It, it'd be awesome if we could catch a big, big bag, like major big bag. I hadn't seen that all week. So look, I'm, I'm keeping it realistic. Let's just, let's just take one day at a time, guys. All right, man. You ready? I'm ready. Fired up. I'm ready. Fired up. <laughs> Bassmaster Elite 
Series, the Dovetail Games, Fast Master Elite, and the Sabine River. Day one, God started behind us, that's okay. Alright guys, I don't know how much of that footage you saw, but I actually caught one. Not a real big one, but you know what? I'm not I'm not I'm not complaining. I think I can catch four or five right here. That's what I think. Right on this stretch, right from here to that last tree. Through that grass, weird. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was fun. Well, I apologize for the lack of cinematography, guys. I'm having some issues here with this camera cord, but. That was a pretty cool bite. He swim jig and threw it over that right there. And he came up and, and I set the hook and he literally flew 30 feet in the air and landed in that big patch of grass right there. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I hope he's still on. working I said I could catch four or five right there we're getting up there we're getting up there All right. pound 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 uh do 1.6 Maybe 12. I think he is. Oh, yeah. He's 12 and a quarter, baby. Probably won't be calling him all day today. <laughs> He's my smallest one so far. So that's four. I said I'd catch five out of here, didn't I? Mm-hmm. We just need a big one, dude. We need like a three-pounder. Two and a half. A couple two and a halves. I caught some two and a halves down that way. But that was a different bite. There's not there's the grass sitting like this. 
down there. I mean, there's fish down there, but this is the only place of grass, well, at least that I found here. The grass sticks out just a little bit farther, and they were like feeding in here, you know. Oh, that was a good one, dude. Oh my gosh. See that? Yeah. I say a good one. I don't know what it was, but it's a bite. Ripped the dang pants off my deal. There he is. That's a better fish right there. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Please stay on, baby. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Told you I was gonna catch five right there. Thank you, Lord. All right. Seven pounds. <laughs> it's good for hey, and, and it, you know, like in school, you get a curve. Like, <laughs> yeah. the, like you ever. So we for the whole tournament, like everybody. This this is not a two pounder, dude. This is a no, six point yeah. seven pound ounce bass. Yeah. <laughs> if we got the Sabine curve, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's a two and a quarter. That's my limit. I said I was going to catch a limit right here. Thank you, Lord, for doing that. That's awesome. There's another good one. Another good one. No, he's not that good. He might get rid of that one, though. No. <laughs> I need a dip net. <laughs> for these... For these fish. <laughs> A joke because it's so small, I can't grab them. <laughs> oh, don't want to catch him. Oh, shoot, dude, you gotta be kidding me. What? <sighs> Dang it, that's not good. Oh good, he's off. All right guys, well we have five, obviously. That, you know, they weigh six and a half, seven pounds at most. Uh, we need to get rid of, you know, three of the fish for sure. We're at the bottom of the tide, and again, like I was saying, the, the wind blew out of the south real hard for three days straight. Kept this water kind of abnormally high. Now that the wind is not blowing at all, the tide is definitely falling out. It's changed that bite. now. Is there a way to catch them on low tide? Absolutely. But it is going to throw a curveball to a lot of guys. My dilemma right now is I'm getting ready to, I think I'm going to move up to my high water spot and not burn them, just to hopefully catch like three, like three fish, get rid of those three one pounders and be done and come back down here and fish the afternoon on high tide. It's a better opportunity, I believe. So I just want to keep my chances and the best opportunity throughout the whole day. Uh, I think that's the smartest at this point. I don't know. I don't think it's the same one. Ninety-four. There's gonna be a lot of people with five pound limits. I mean like mm -hmm. you just don't think like in my mind I'm like, alright, it's twelve inches, so that's at least a pound. Twelve and a quarter is like pound four. But they're really not. They're really like literally like ninety-four. Dang it. What the hell? Son of a biscuit. Stupid. Ah. Well, forget that fish if there's one in there. Little things like that. What separates a good fisherman and a, and a mediocre fisherman is little things. And like, as silly as that is, there could have been a five pounder right there. And I just eliminated it because of bad boat position. My fault. I could have easily fixed that. I could have trolling motor real slow. I could have looked at my, my trolling motor to see if I had it on 100, which I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, those are mistakes you don't, you don't, you don't, try not to make any of those. And that it'll represent a lot of extra bites at the end of the year. It'd be nice to get one big three or four pounder that's just sitting out here on these, out here on these pylons or something. 
like a big old fat nasty. And that's what I'm looking for. I mean, I, it's not where I plan on fishing, but that, that wasn't blowing like that yesterday. I'm no dummy, but you do not pass up an outflow of water like that. Redfish. Big one, too. Those people are mad up there. They're like, What the hell? I gotta just do that thing back. What the hell's wrong with that guy? Another big one. I found the redfish spot. <laughs> this was not the plan. There's got to be a bass in there, dude. Okay, number two redfish for the day. <laughs> Those people are like, what the hell, man? That guy's crazy. Almighty, dude. Uh, that would have helped. Spawning, I think. Are you fishing the tournament? Yeah. Are you? I am, yeah. Is it the Bassmasters? Yes, right, yeah. Really? Yeah. In this lake? Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yeah, we've already had the pre-fishing. It's day one now. Oh, like Scott down here? Yeah, I saw him a minute ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you messing with me? No, I did. I, for real, I saw him. Really? Yeah, dude, he went by. He had like caught like a 10-pounder. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did up there by that bridge. Well, it was like a, maybe an eight. Dude, that guy's awesome. Thank you, man. <laughs> Can I just see the back of your jersey real quick? Oh, my God. <laughs> you are Scott Martin. I know him real well. I know him real well. <laughs> I didn't think I would, it, your voice, I couldn't really see you through the shades, but your voice sounded real familiar, and I've seen that boat before. Say a big one. It's funny. It's a giant, dude. It's a pound and a half. <laughs> it's it's all perspective. It's all perspective. There. Oh, oh, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get the net, man. Just get the net, dude. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm on him, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody's gonna have a limit that weighs between five and seven pounds. It's just like mind boggling to think, how do you catch a two pounder? Yeah. Like legit two pounder. How, how do you catch a two pounder? I don't know. You just go fishing for 12 inches and cross your fingers. I mean, that's, that's all you can do. Right, so guys we're doing a trailer weigh-in today which is i actually like this a lot because now we don't have to sit around and wait for an hour to pull out so it looks like matt's got about seven pounds or so canterbury's probably leading the bunch he's got eight or nine pounds which is what you need i don't know what to do tomorrow guys but that my spot where i thought i could really crack them just didn't play today guys I don't know I mean like it's uh I'm not giving up on it I, I might not go there tomorrow you know just it's gonna depend on the weights right like if, if, if all of a sudden my six and a half seven pounds has got me an 85th place then I gotta go I gotta go do something right it's just go away man see what happens oh yeah that's a four <laughs> lose about Four and a half. Get a little bigger. Another one about four. Six pounder, dude. Yeah. I'm out screaming big. Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. A two time FLW Tour winner and a two time classic qualifier, of course. Got us five fish here today for Scott Canterbury. Eight pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into sixth place currently with eight pounds, 10 ounces. I watched you on live today and you kind of, you kind of said, you know, shooting for seven pounds, eight pounds, just it doesn't compute in your brain. You know, it's hard to go out and just fish for 12 inches, you know, and try to get a bite. But, uh, you know, I tried to catch big ones and uh, he just didn't bite real good today. I did. I had a couple opportunities, missed opportunities. 
tell you, this is a good crowd for an opening day. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Orange, this is awesome. These people really want bass fishermen here. They accept you and welcome you in. It's been great all week. The people, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for the uh, sponsors. Couldn't do it without you. Yeah, day one is over with. I made it. Made my run. I made it back. I uh, was able to catch five. It was a tough, tough bite today. I didn't get many bites at all. So, uh, you know, I'm happy to have what I got. I had a little over eight pounds, eight and a half pounds. So, right now I'm sitting in the top ten. Uh, we just have to wait and see how it goes, but uh, looking forward to getting out there day two. A seven-time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. Scott Martin, his first season here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Five fish here today on day number one. Seven pounds, four ounces, puts him in 19th place inside the top 20 as we near the halfway point of the day number one weigh-in. Here at the Dovetail Games, a Bassmaster Elite on the Sabine River, sponsored by Bass Fishing 2022, the official video game of bass. And you might just be the poster boy of it, Scott. It's a, it's a pretty cool deal. It's uh, We're excited about the Dovetail Bassmaster Fishing 2022. It's going to be an awesome game. It's coming out soon. You know, we, uh, we launched one game last year, but this is like a whole new revamp. We've been working on it. Obviously, you guys, Bassmasters, the title of the whole thing. It's going to be a lot of fun, so I uh, can't wait for you guys all to play that. But today today went okay. You know, it was one of those things that I caught a limit pretty quick, and then I thought, you know, I've got a little cushion. I'm, I'm going to make a little bit of a gamble. I made a long, long run, and it just never really cold up after that, so I'll probably stick closer to home tomorrow. But, you know, i got to – here's a tip, right? You fish Sabine, a lot of small fish. But you, it's all mindset, right? So in my mind, I'm like a one-pounder is a four-pounder. And a two pounder is like an eight pounder. So today, when I was catching like a pound and a halfer, I'm screaming and yelling. I'm running all over the boat. It makes it more fun. If you just go dink, 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 yeah, it's kind of boring. So I just lie to myself all day long. And in my mind, I've got like 28 pounds, even though I only weighed seven. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> it's just like playing that video game. Exactly like the video game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Scott Martin. Seven, four. So we're dead on our estimation, which is good. Look, I can't complain. I don't even know how to feel. It's it's seven four. It's a limit. It's it's we got to figure out some more stuff. You know, we gambled a little bit, and, and even though I didn't catch fish this afternoon, I did learn a ton. Right? I learned a lot this morning. Here's the coolest thing about today for me. You know how many fish I caught on a swim jig in practice? Zero. And today I tied it on. Literally, right when we pulled up, I tied it on. And that represented most of the fish that I caught today. I caught some flipping, obviously, but that swim jig this morning was key. And that was cool to me, to be able to make an adjustment like that on the fly. So, you know, look, first first quarter, we got to do something special tomorrow. Let's make the cut. Then we can get creative and figure out something really crazy, okay? We might, we might go to Houston, just like literally blind. I don't even know. <laughs> My bad. I need a beer. That's the most stressful, like, dude, I weigh in, everything's going good. We get in the truck, we leave, we go to a gas station, and it's the bad, it was just a bad parking, bad, like, couldn't, we're all stuck, and I put the card in, and it won't come out. And then I finally get it out, it, was a, it, it, it like ate my American Express, dude, like it cut a hole in the metal card. I don't even know, like it growled at me. Oh, you got one of the metal heavy ones. Yeah, it is stuck in there. That's what, that's, and, and that's, that's what out, them rich people have. No, they got dude. them. They got them heavy credit no, cards. You pay extra interest for that. One. <laughs> we get on the road, start driving down the interstate, and the life vest is twirling back there like a damn kite. And I'm like, we gotta stop. Oh my god, it's about to lose it. We pull over. It's literally just hanging on by the little thing. You weighed in like two hours and forty five minutes ago. I know. <laughs> then we drove. Then there's a giant fire. And then we went to a. We pulled into another gas station, and everybody's just watching the fire. Cars are just parked everywhere. And we're like, rubberneckers. We had to back out into the highway again. Truck's out of gas, like zero gas, zero. So it's gonna run out any second. And the whole time I'm thinking. Jesus, what the hell's that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> I thought a snake was hissing at us. Let's go! Catch my raft on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I pulled a rib, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my, my 
That tops it off. That tops the whole day off right there. I was right in the middle of my right in the middle of my crazy day, dude, and then you threw a damn bomb on me. My gosh, dude, what is that? 200 firecrackers from Fireworks Blast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he, he had stopped, thought he blew your tire back. I looked back at Jacob was at the car going. <laughs> he didn't know what happened. Oh gosh. Hey, the best part was like McCoy gets scared at everything. If he wouldn't have got scared, it would have really got y'all. I know. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like a I, snake. You got scared a and snake. I got scared and I was like, it went. I'm like, what? <laughs> snakes don't go. It what do they do? Snake. <laughs> what do snakes do then? Dude, I thought I was ripping the whole side of the boat off. <laughs> I was like, what in the hell is going on back there? Right. Hey, he left this thing on my on my flipping boat. <laughs> your boat from flipping Arkansas, Matt. What's up? I need to hear about your day. I suck as a camera guy. I didn't get you. I, I didn't hear on stage, how was your day? You suck today. You didn't do your job. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> so I think I had two fish at like 12:30 ish. It was bad, and uh, which I knew it would be. I got in a really bad rotation every time I was running around trying to go into these bayous. There's people in there, and I got a little frustrated. So I just said, just put your head down, fish, do what you're doing in practice, get bites. And I ended up catching uh, five more keepers between 12:30 and check-in. So uh, one was a um, Sabine, today, Sabine River Giant, two and a half pounder, <laughs> which is, it gave me seven and a half pounds. I had four that weighed five pounds and I had seven, eight. So I had four pound and a quarters, which are solid keepers here, and a two and a half pounder. And I uh, caught seven keepers all day, maybe seven or eight shorts. And I, I'll tell you a funny story, because this morning my marshal said, he was a young kid, fishes in high school, real nice guy, and he said, uh, the first one I caught on a frog, it was a keeper. It was like a 13-incher. I'm like, he said, that's the smallest fish I've ever seen caught on a frog. And I didn't know how to take that. You know, I was like, eh, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> so I said, but that's nothing. I said, just wait. The next two I caught on that frog, I'm talking about like a big popping frog now, were nine and a half inches roughly and 11 inches. So I actually beat my personal best smallest fish today on a frog. So that's how my day went. Figure out what to figure out what to throw tomorrow. You know the problem is going to be catching fish in a lot of the same areas. Those areas got beat up. There's a part of me that wants to go back to where I didn't catch them today, just because a there's no pressure mm -hmm. and b I could catch ten pounds in here. The wind's supposed to blow pretty hard out of the south tomorrow. And that should make those fish bite. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. What is going on? Man, you know, get real with y'all again a little bit. Just get, get real, get real. So here's the deal. I was wondering, like, tournament fishing, right? Tournament fishing's fun. It is fun. Totally fun, right? I love it. I uh, couldn't think of anything better to be doing, right? It is the most stressful thing in the world. I literally, all night last night, thought about where I'm going to fish today. I don't have total clarity still. And that's a, that's a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to just be real with you. I've got to settle down. I've got to just... Day two is more stressful than day one. Day one, you're excited, right? Everything's new. Like, okay, I'm going to go. I mean, yeah, it's stressful, obviously. But then day two, you know, like you've got to go, okay. i got to go out and i got to do better, right? I need, to, I need to do better. Very few times. <laughs> I don't think I've ever started day two going like, I don't have to do that good today. <laughs> That'd be nice, but... Just the truth. I had to figure out today how to just settle down. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But it's just part of the process, right? It's part of the process. Settling down, figuring out 
where my best options are to catch. I mean, at least seven pounds. I think the weight could go up today. Should I run back up to where I fished yesterday and didn't catch them, where I thought I could actually catch a couple of big fish? I fished there, didn't catch anything. Another angler was up there that I talked to. He only caught one all day there. So, I, I, I mean, that's just not smart, right? So, I think today I have to just literally put my blinders on, put my head down, and fish my guts out today. Get seven pounds, eight pounds, whatever I can get. And then tomorrow, tomorrow we can make a change, right? We can gamble just a little bit tomorrow. Heck, we might even go to Houston. So that being said, I gotta settle down this morning. I got, I got about 30 minutes for it at the boat ramp. It's gotta just, okay. But I love you guys. So, how you liking the video so far? Hopefully y'all are uh, learning a few things. Like I said, the practice video was pretty cool. So if you haven't had a chance to watch the practice video, be sure to check it out. Let's get this thing started, guys. Day two. All right. How you feeling, man? How you feeling? Me? Yeah. Tired. Tired? Yeah. Did you sleep good last night? Pretty good. Damn, dude. I, I woke up all night long trying to think about where to fish. Thinking about where to fish? Yeah. You do that too? You just yeah. can't. I get to my mind like, where do I do? Where do I go? Here, it's just wherever you think you get a bite. What's up, buddy? He's so cute. Hey, Bucky, when are you going to call us, man? Come on, you got to hook up with Koi. You got to hook up with Koi. Make him your live mascot. All right. Well. You know, it's, 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 uh, like I was, I was telling Jacob this morning, he was asking me, like, what are you going to do? You know, what, what's your game plan? And it's like, it's one of the few times, and I think this is the case for most of the people. I'm sure there's some people that have figured out a few little things to get bigger bites. But it's really, it's really like get yourself around fish and be as effective and efficient as you can. And at the end of the day, you'll have what you need. That's kind of basically what it is. For, I, I, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing that I know offhand to say, okay, I can go, I can go into these areas and catch five big ones. I just don't think it, I mean, it's just, it's not realistic. Can I catch one or two big ones? Absolutely. If I fish consistently, put myself in position all day, make the right flips, right cast, right decisions, all those things, then, then we can pull off something pretty special. If I can catch a good bag this morning, or at any point today, that's when I'm gonna start really looking to figure out how to win this thing. You know, I might have to do something drastic tomorrow if I make it. You know, maybe run to Houston blind and just go fishing. You know, there's lots of different things to consider. But catching seven pounds a day, um, and making the cut, it's not gonna miraculously win the tournament. What's up, Buttercup? What up, what up, man? So what is your name? Uh, Justin, James. Justin. Do you live here? Yes, sir, I do. All right, right here in Orange, huh? Yes, sir. Nice. Live pretty much 15 minutes away. You probably fish here a bunch then, huh? Not really, this place is a gar hole. <laughs> yeah, it's a gar hole. Oh, All right, Canterbury, hey, you need to make the cut now. It's a good fish. Oh, he's still on there. I can't tell if he's big or not. He's moving the whole mat around.
Oh, it's a freaking bluegill. I've got one decent one. Let's say decent. He's like a pound and a half. <laughs> it's all relative. That's for sure. So far, I've caught a lot of bluegill today. That was cool. That was a and a half. Now we're bass fishing 2022. We were bluegill fishing 2022 a minute ago. Thank you, Jesus. Hey! Yep, boy. <laughs> What's that, pound and a half? Oh, yeah. Pound and three quarters. Heck yeah, boy. That's a lunker. We done got a lunker. We ain't calling him today. <laughs> oh. My limit. Pretty sure he's 12. Oh, yeah. All right, that's my limit. Yeah, dude. Dude. Yes, he does. He done cold something, boy. Woohoo! Look at that. That's a tank. That's a Sabine tank. That's a Sabine River bucket mount. Dude. Well, he's a straight up two, guaranteed. Might even be more like one and a quarter. He is one fourteen. Get rid of that. Yeah. Yes it is. Yes it is. That helped my pound, dude. Dude, you know what that is? I think that's the cut, my friend. <laughs> I think that's the cut. He won't, Mike. No. He ain't even close. Is it? Hear me? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Yeah. 
That was a big one. That was a real one. I swear, this, it's like I don't get bit around the wood much unless it's a cypress tree. Maybe that's where the big ones are. though. All right. All right, guys. It looks like we've made the cut. I mean, but that being said, we got a long ways to go. Two 15 pound bags yesterday were leading. So that's basically double what I've caught. So we've got a lot of ground to make up. But you know, today the conditions are setting up good for that swim jig. It's this is fun because it's like fishing the conditions. It's it's slowing down. I mean, like, that's great. Like one thing this year that I've that I've done more so than any other year is fish slow and methodical. Um a fish, and I did it at, at Knoxville paid off and I'm doing it here kind of a cool deal so we just need to get a couple big fish we can get a, like a four pounder or a five pounder we can really make a scare at this thing guys so let's just let's keep our head down keep fishing keep our focus make it happen <laughs> that's crazy Look at that thing. <laughs> it's fat. Wow. I didn't want him. You know, we did a little better today, obviously. I think we'll fish tomorrow. I'm sure we will. What am I going to do tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. But let's go see what these things weigh. 
It's a lot of fun, kind of figuring out new stuff. Hopefully Matt caught them. Hopefully Canterbury caught them. Man. Whew. The place is tough, but it's kind of fun. I just started fishing like weird stuff, just seeing if I can catch a big one. I don't know. I don't know what to do tomorrow exactly, but we'll figure it out. It's a good day. It's kind of fun. seven or eight pounds, probably more than he had yesterday. So he's gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. Uh, Canterbury, we haven't we haven't heard yet. He was he was having a tough day. He wasn't able to get into a spot. But he was scrambling late. Hopefully he caught a fish or two to squeak him in there. I don't know. But uh, man this place it, it's uh, again like I said it's it's a complicated fishery but fun in kind of a weird way. But I have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I keep saying that just because I'm trying to stimulate my thought process to come up with a master plan. It hasn't happened yet. A seven time FLW tour winner, the two thousand and eleven Forest Wood Cup champion from Coolston, Florida, Scott Martin. At seven pounds, four ounces yesterday, five fish here today, looking for 413 to get inside the cut. Eight pounds, 15 ounces inside the cut in 20th place with 16 pounds, three ounces. 16, three, and sitting in 20th place, so uh, decent tournament. Uh, and this is one that, you know, it's gonna hurt a lot of guys through this entire season. You gotta survive the Sabine. No, that's a good way to look at it for sure. You know, it's it's one of those it's one of the most complicated fisheries I've ever fished because there's so many variables. Every day you got to figure out what the tide's going to be, what the wind's going to do, because the wind dictates the tide too. Then on top of that, try to find a special spot that's not getting completely overrun by boats. And then on top of all that, figure out a lure or two that they'll bite. So it's not the easiest thing in the world. But uh, I've, I've been really blessed the last couple days to catch a, a nice limit pretty early and it's allowed me to kind of settle down. I'm gonna have to make some big adjustments tomorrow. I'm really not sure what to do quite yet. It's hard to target big fish here. It's not like, you know, like in Florida, I can say, I'm gonna get on my flipping stick and I'm gonna go, mine only get five bites, but they're gonna weigh 20 pounds. You know, you could do that all day here and still catch 12 inches. So it's uh, it's one of those things, but it was a, it's been a good week so far. Looking forward to uh, getting out there tomorrow and uh, you know, hopefully be able to sneak in the top 10 if I can catch a bigger bag. Cause it'd be awesome being that Dovetail is sponsoring this uh, event with the Bassmaster Fishing 2022. It's going to be a pretty cool event. Cool event, and uh, we can't wait to see you in front of this crowd here tomorrow. Let's hear it Thank for you. Scott Martin. Thank you, guys. A two-time FLW Tour winner, a two-time Classic Qualifier from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. At seven pounds, eight ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Seven pounds, 11 ounces, gives him 15-3, and he moves into 24th place and inside the cut right now, so looks like the odds are pretty decent, but uh, I know you won't relax till it's official. No, you never relax till it's over, but um, quick little funny story. You see, my, it's not a fever blister on my lip. I don't know, one of my marshals said, yeah, bad fever blister. Said, no, it's not a fever blister. I said, actually, in practice, my roommate, Scott Martin, he's over here on the other side of this ditch, and we're fishing, and and he's catching them on a, a little crankbait. I, I said, I gotta have one of those. So I run over there and it's making me mad because I had had a bite in there and he, he caught two like right in front of me. And I said, all right, I'm, I'm getting one. And I come over there and he throws me one. It's got a little bit of line on it. So first of all, rule number one, don't bite the line off your bait. But the, the treble hook was stuck on the bill of the crankbait upside down. And when I went to bite the line and you know you had kind of jerk to get the knot off of it. That's the treble hook right through the lip right there. So don't bite line. Your dentist will tell you not to bite line, but I'm going to tell you right now, don't bite line. It, it, it'll, it'll bite back by the looks of things. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. A two-time classic qualifier, a two-time FLW Tour winner, the 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Eight pounds, 10 ounces. Yesterday, two fish here today, looking for four nine to get in the cut. Two pounds, nine ounces. Unfortunately, outside of the cut this time around, Scott, but the good news is it's not a spot that you're in very often. Yeah, it, well, it, 
doesn't seem that way this year. It seems like I've been on that bubble a bunch this year, but uh, I got to get it going. I don't know. Uh, today, I just didn't get the bites. I mean, I had one little place, special place way up the river. I was at this little snake hole I was trying to get into, and today I couldn't get into it. The water came up. It was a little too high, and I couldn't get my boat back in there. So uh, that's where I caught five, all five of them yesterday. So I just had to go fishing. Uh, it's awesome seeing all the people out here, man. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the sponsors. If I don't start catching some bass, I'll we'll have to go back to Plum One and start gluing some pipe together, it looks like. But uh, we'll get this thing turned around, guys. We know you will. We look forward to seeing you. You know, really, uh, day two, disappointed. Really uh, struggle. I didn't catch them. I mean, I only had a few bites, but uh, I don't know. I mean, you just got to keep your head down and grind. It wasn't... You know, I had one sneak hole that I called them all in yesterday. I wasn't able to get in there today. But other than that, you know, I just didn't get the bites today. So uh, move on, go get a week off, and then see you at Lake Fork. <laughs> that sounds so good and bad at the same time. That's hilarious. All right, that's John Cox. I don't know if you heard this story, guys, but uh, about 15 people got their Cadillac converters cut off their trucks last night off the Toyotas. John Cox is staying at, at a hotel here in town, which is a bad deal. Some people came in there and stole his Cadillac converter and a bunch of other people's crazy stuff. So now you hear him coming, right? He's revving up. All right, so here's the deal, guys. We had nine pounds. They gave us 16-something. We're in the top 20-ish or so. I don't know exactly still a few more people to weigh in but we're gonna make the cut okay now here's the dilemma again I've been saying it all video what do I do tomorrow what do I do tomorrow how do I catch a big fish do I go to Houston I, you know it, the problem with going to Houston where I want to go with you to Houston I think is where Brock Mosley is fishing I think and the issue is I don't want to roll over there on day three and be like hey I'm over here now and then all of a sudden that is where he's fishing it's just kind of not the thing to do. So I might not go to Houston now. I still may, to a different area, obviously, than where I'm wanting to go in Houston. I don't even know what's available. But that being said, if I stick around here, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to catch, I don't know if I go up the river and just try to get into an oxbow or something. But to win this tournament, I gotta do something special. But that being said, we're gonna save all that for tomorrow in a whole nother video. So I wanna say thank you so much for all of the support. Thank you, Dovetail games for sponsoring this entire event Bassmaster tournament and everything that's the Bassmaster fishing 2022 video game coming out this fall awesome by dovetail really cool stuff so guys we'll, we'll drop a link in the description you can at least check it out and get ready for this game uh, later in the fall but that being said it is time to shut her down and like I said you guys have been smashing the like button so awesome lately I love you for that because it's really helping our channel and everything we did a 5,000 like challenge. We busted that. A 6,000 like challenge. We busted that. We did 7,000 like. Busted that. Can we get 10? Can we get 10,000 likes on this video, guys? And that's a little challenge. Thank you so much for all the support. So the next video in the channel, guys, is the Bassmaster Sabine Day 3. Thanks for all the support. It is time to go figure out the game plan. Bam!